Scotland's border region, which stretches from the River Tweed in the east, to the Solway Firth in the west, was a lawless and violent place during the late medieval and early modern periods. This was due in large part to the actions of the Border Ravers, a group of raiders and bandits who terrorised the region for centuries. The Border Ravers were a mix of Scottish and English families who lived in the Border region, and they were known for their fierce and ruthless behaviour. They would often engage in cross-border raids, stealing cattle, sheep, and other valuable goods from both sides of the border. They were also known to kidnap people for ransom, and to take part in blood feuds with other Reaver families. Some of the most notorious Reaver families included the Armstrongs, the Elliots, the Johnstons, the Maxwells, the Nixons, the Rutherfords, the Scots, and the Turnbulls. The Armstrongs, for example, were a powerful Reaver family that controlled large areas of the border region, and were known for their fierce and violent behavior. The Elliots, on the other hand, were known for their cunning and stealth, and were able to evade capture by the authorities for many years. The border ravers were a thorn in the side of both the Scottish and English governments, who were unable to bring them under control. The Scottish government in particular struggled to deal with the ravers, as they were often able to evade capture by crossing the border into England. This led to a situation where the Scottish government was forced to pay the English government large sums of money to return captured ravers to Scotland for trial. Despite their lawless behaviour, the border ravers were also seen as local heroes by many people in the border region. They were seen as protectors of their communities, who were willing to stand up against the powerful and oppressive governments of both Scotland and England. This led to a situation where many people in the border region were reluctant to give information to the authorities about the ravers, making it difficult to bring them to justice. The border ravers were eventually brought under control in the late 16th and early 17th centuries, thanks to a combination of military action and legal reforms. The English and Scottish governments worked together to put an end to their lawless behaviour, and many Reaver families were forced to abandon their traditional way of life. Despite this, the legacy of the Border Reavers lives on today. The surnames of the Reaver families can still be found throughout the Border region, and many people in the area are proud of their Reaver heritage. The memory of the Border Reavers is also kept alive through local festivals and events such as the annual riding of the marches in Selkirk, which commemorate the border ravers and their way of life.